former City of Light waits for the Allies to arrive and lift the shadow that has fallen over Paris. However, the heroism of D-Day will have been for nothing if the Allies cannot hold the land beyond the beaches of Normandy. Sure inspiring. You want inspiration, Huxley? Read a poem. Sarge is ten times the soldier you'll ever be. Okay, listen up. Today, we're on a secret mission to get coffee and donuts. Problem is, the Germans drank all the coffee and ate all the donuts. So now, we gotta go kick their asses. Or we could just stay back at the base and eat those nice French rolls they got. We'll be providing ground support for Task Force C. We're coming in from the west flank. And guys, remember rule number one. Oh, oh man, I love that smell. It smells like home. The Germans are this far out? I thought we had this area. It's been like this for weeks. Hey, wait up! You got Tell it, you the slow down! Oh, right. I'm almost there! Come on, come on! Come on, you can make come it! Come on, guys, this isn't funny! Oh, 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 Sorry, stowing the hell in a hacksaw out there. You run into much trouble? Nah, but Jerry sure as hell did. This place will be rubble inside of two minutes. We can't stay here. Wait, God damn it! Where is everybody? Sound off! Ah, oh, screw that! We have to fall back. Now that's it. I'm falling back. Frank, Frank, put the gun down. Let's just all calm down here. You're not crazy enough to shoot me! Desertion's a capital offense, Guzo! Shooting you won't be crazy! It'll be the sanest thing I've ever done! 
Frank, come on now. Guys, we got ourselves a tunnel here. Looks like we got a way out. All right, we're bugging out. Move! We'll continue this later. Nichols, let's go. Nice work, boys. Check your ammo levels. Attack! As decisive as Normandy, the liberation of Saint-Lô opens up the road to Paris. The American army pushes through to the southwest, while the British, Canadian, and Polish advance from the northeast. The German-controlled territory in the middle comes to be known as the Falaise Gap. The Gap sees some of the most ferocious fighting of the last great war. Guy sticks a gun in my face. You don't think that's enough to buy me a transfer out of this unit? Have you thought about writing your congressman? That's very friggin' funny. Gear up. We're going to St. Germain. The 90th is short-handed, so we're getting folded into their unit. Looks like your transfer request came through. Those guys, they've got the easy part. Copy that. They just gotta sit and wait for us. Quiet that up! Okay, on the signal, we're taking this hill. We gotta flank Jerry, because if we don't, the rest of the division can't move through. So... That's it! Move, move, move! Let's go! Getting a little tired of dragging your sorry ass around, Nichols. Ugh. Come on, let's go! Fall back! Fall back! Sit back and watch the view. Doyle, you listening to me, Doyle? So, as I was saying, only two things the Frenchies are any good at surrendering and kissing. We're going to Sergeant. How are you, BT? Skyler, as usual. Let's go, you fat Scottish twig! <laughs> I'm fair popular around here, you can probably tell. Keith, give Wilkins a hand, would you? Boy can't tell his ass from his elbow. Damn good to see you again. Wilkins, you blasted idiot! What are you doing, my friend? Little present for the Bosch. We call her Vera. Her twin over there is Lynn. It's the usual deal. Freedom insertion. Our man on the ground is a Marquis named La Roche. Decent fellow for a Frenchman. He'll take us to meet up with the French resistance. An oxymoron if ever there was one. But they're all we have. We're wheels up in an hour, so grab your kit and load in. Strap yourselves in, boys. We're almost at the jump point. Incoming! Taking fire! I can't hold us out! We have the drop now!
Je m'appelle Pierre Laroche. Welcome to France, mon ami. You are late. Nice to see you too, lady. Dufontaine. Isabelle Dufontaine. I don't care if you're the friggin' queen of France. Where's the major? Mais qui est cet imbécile? Your major hasn't arrived yet. And we've lost contact with one of our men as well. Marcel Amand. Que lui est-il arrivé? What happened to him? He went missing while doing reconnaissance near the German air defense. You mean those Bosch bastards who shot us out of the sky? Sounds like payback time, eh, Doyle? We'll help you get your man back. Someone should stay at the rendezvous point in case Major Ingram arrives. Thanks for volunteering, Frenchy. Here is the situation. The German gunners are using a manor house as their barracks straight up that way. The flag gun is to the right. Allons-y. Doyle, lead on. Those cherry buggers are right behind you. Doyle, you go with Keith and Monsieur LaRoche. You and your friend can ride with me. We'll rendezvous back at the Mackie base. Doyle, you're driving again. If it reloads... Jolly good timing, Major. Thank the quiet one there. And not just for that save. He also got the plans for the Bosch's fuel depot. Or he's baiting the trap. The Roche trusts him. That makes one of us. Marcel is one of our most trusted men. Corporal. That's not saying much. You seem to like us well enough when we save your lives. Perhaps next time we won't be as charitable. I don't need some suicide detail to get me a medal. No one's offering you a medal to do your job, Hux. Now, you read up on those aircraft bombs? Yeah, those things are mighty dangerous. Your Sarge is riding up front. All right, listen up. Our job's to take the bridge as the convoy acts as our decoy from the opposite side. So we get no armor support. Jerry will blow the bridge at the first sight of armor. That's why Huxley here is going to disarm the bombs before the crowds can detonate them. Whose brilliant plan was this? General George S. Patton. You got some kind of problem with him, too? Nope. So long as the orders aren't coming from McCollin. Ain't no orders coming from him. Hell, he said so much the word for two days straight. How about you worry less about the Sarge and more about those bombs, Hasey? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Good, Sarge. Hey, Sergeant. How much longer are we gonna be here anyway? At least until your crappy playing gives away our position. Gentlemen! We are about to take part in a most daring offensive against the enemy. Glory or a glorious death to wait. We get a choice which one? Show the lieutenant some respect. Who's this piss at? Private Leslie Perron. But further introduction can wait. The Germans have pulled back to the ridge. We, mes amis, are going to take it from them. All right, you heard the lieutenant. Get moving. Cole, get on that 50 cal. Peterson, start loading some ammo. And someone turn off that friggin' radio. That's not fighting music.
Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Ah, Baron! We missed you! Have a good nap, did we? But I... Sir, I, I was manning the radio you and... You should I... have been manning a gun! Battalion radio. Jerry set up a command post in an industrial compound nearby. Bon! Then that's where we'll make our stand against Jerry's counterattack! They won't go quietly into that good night. Nor should you, Perron. All right, men! Let's move out! The Canadians continue their push south on the Falaise Road, forcing the Germans to fall back towards Falaise, while the Polish 1st Armored Division guards the Canadians' western flank. Working in concert, the four nations combine to force the Germans into a narrow corridor, trapping them between the Americans to the south and the British, Canadian, and Polish armies to the north. For plan to work, cooperation must be perfect, like ballet. But soldiers are not dancers. So maybe we not wait. Maybe we go right after Richter, his tanks. We are closest. Close is dangerous. Richter has advantage in armor and supplies. So we cut Richter's supply line. For that, we rely on the British. <laughs> All right. The Roche, Doyle, and Corporal Keith will take out the perimeter defenses and open the main gate. La Roche, Doyle, and Corporal Keith détruiront les bases allemandes du périmètre et ouvriront la voie de base. Once the gates open, we'll move in. Une fois que la voie est ouverte, nous nous déplacerons à l'intérieur. Two section will hold the entrance while one section destroys anything that looks remotely useful to Jerry. La section 2 bloquera l'entrée tandis que la section 1 détruira tout ce qui est utile au Bosch. And Keith, you make damn sure you get yourself past those bloody sentries as quickly as possible. My pleasure. Look after yourself with these onion eaters. Votre mère a la syphilis, mon ami. Huh? Good luck to you too, Frenchy. Let's move out! Good show, boys. There's not enough time for me to plant all the charges. Yeah, careful with these. They're already primed. Understand? A man, a few words. I like that. Why can't those veggies speak English? Move out! Get that horse moving! to risk everything for what man? <laughs> Even him. Doyle, drive! Who are you? I left while you were setting the charges. You're a friggin' coward, what you are. Get up, Doyle. We're going back in. Then three of you will be dead. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Cela signifie que votre commandant... Speak bloody English, for Christ's sake! The Germans would shoot and grab on sight. Like they shot your buddy here. Vous osez me traiter de collaborateur? Damn straight, I think you're a collaborateur. Your major is dead. And we will be too if we stay here much longer, pointing guns and accusations at one another. Seven kills in as many days. We're going to need more paint. <laughs> Later. Air support is arriving. If 
pushing into town. The hunt is on. Ride for Hatem. Him? Look at the tank! It's Richter's number! This is the one! The Shvinia who drove us from the motherland. <coughs> Papa, I thought you'd be happier. Who says I'm not? They'll give you a promotion for this! They'll give us all promotion for this! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want the promotion. Not this way, anyhow. Copy that, Dix. I mean, Sarge. Let's keep it Dix, okay? You got it, Sarge. I thought the French had already cleared this area. Yeah, and a piss-poor job they did of it, too. The forest is still lousy with mines and barricades. Second battalion can't move in till it's clear. But wouldn't that be more of a job for the engineers? Damn right. But the boys battalion sent in haven't been heard from in two days. Take two men and flank our advance. We're headed up that way. Nice and quiet. Look sharp. Crowd OP over that ridge. Dix! We got a live one here! Medic! It's Private Crouppen! He's one of them engineers that went missing! What happened, Crouppen? Jerry... We found a whole bunch of them in... Uh, like a storage depot! The Frenchies must have missed them! <laughs> Big surprise there. The depot's probably off the main road. That one! We'll take care of it. Huxley, take two guys and scout on ahead. Right! Guzzo, Nichols, you're with me. Damn, sure, let's took out my whole squad! It's gonna be alright, soldier. Barricade's clear. Rest of the forest is clear too, Dix. All right, Guzzo. Radio command. Area's clear. This the same command who told us the area was already clear? I'm getting real tired of that mouth of yours, Guzzo. The Sarge may have put up with it, but I won't. You reading me? Yep. I got you, Sarge. You had that one coming, Guzzo. <laughs> When I heard, it was quite the ass chewing. No, 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 the Americans are rightly miffed. We were supposed to take this river days ago. Command, you know, he's too conservative. Fortune favors the bold. Kind of hard to do with Jerry pinned our convoys down. That ends upon our arrival, Sergeant. It ends when we get up there. Need, sir. I need you to fire your weapon from time to time. Get into the fight, soldier. But I I didn't want to risk the radio getting Your hit. concern for His Majesty's kid is very admirable, but don't let it burden you all the way out of the war, private. Oh, 
Here's the situation. The house ahead is crawling with the Germans. What half the squad advances on it, the rest will flank left up that road. Cole, you're on point. Up. Man, form up. Good work, Cole. Nicely done. Perron could learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> With our armor free to move, we'll soon own this area. Bahater! Where's Bahater? Firefly, he thinks steering mechanism is sticking. Smart. Hope you arrived. We have new orders. We are taking Mount Ormel next. We? So just us? The Canadians are right behind. So just us? What is Mount Ormel anyway? The mace. Anybody got any flares? Never figured I'd buy it from our own box. Yeah, they don't call it friendly fire with nothing. Ah, oh, crap! Nice timing. situation. We're gonna try a pincer move here. One team will advance through those houses. Another will advance up the street. Team three goes through that yard there. Nichols, you take point. All right, on me. Form up. All right, good work. Dixon, battalion, on the radio. Dixon. Okay, I'll tell them. Yes. Thank you, sir. I got some good news and bad news for you, boys. The Canadians have taken the Laison River. The Poles have moved into Vimotier to the north. Bottom line, Jerry's boxed in pretty good. We got him falling back towards Chambois. So what's the bad news? Chambois is where we're going next. It's suicide! We don't have the manpower! With backbone like that, it's hard to believe your country ever surrendered! It's not a question of backbone. In all likelihood, your Major Ingram is dead. Forget likelihood! If there's a snowball's chance in hell he's alive, I'm getting him out! There isn't, and you'd be killed too. Not just me, Frenchie. Doyle's coming with me. Let's go, Doyle! We're doing this even if we have to do it alone! I don't know what you're saying.
timing, Corporal. Let's get you out of here. For sure the boss heard that racket. <clears throat> of racket. Doyle, follow the Frenchie. The Frenchie's clearing the way. Come on. I'm not the only one Jerry's been holding. I'm way ahead of you. We saved a bunch of Maquis from the firing squad on our way here. The Jerry interrogating me bragged about torturing three. Nothing about a firing squad. Major! Reunions can wait, Pierre. Three more of your men are getting tortured as we speak. Best if we split up. Good hunting. Doyle, take the wheel. Isabelle! No! I'm sorry, Marcel. She was a brave lass. Brave as any of you, Maki. Buck up, man! Are our men ready? Can anyone be ready to march into hell? That tank crew is running out of time, Sergeant. Sir! Word from command. The Poles have taken Hill 262, but they lost the radio operator. <laughs> we got bigger problems than that, Private. This adds to them, sir. Command wants us to send a radio operator to help the Poles. Well, then get going. Sir, what are you waiting for? Not all men is at least a test drive away. Oh, Baron, Baron, I'm doing a favor. One of our tank crew has gone missing. We're going off on a rescue. Oh, that's dangerous business. You would want any part of it. I'm not a coward, Lieutenant. My job is to protect our radio. Our only link to command and... Now your job is to be the Paul's radio. Dismiss, Private. You've got your orders, soldier. You were a little hard on him, eh? I've got bigger worries than that. Get ready to move out. We've got men waiting on us. Sergeant, good to see you're well. No thanks to Jerry. Much thanks to your man here. Cole's a good man. Is this all of you who made it? Jerry took prisoners. They're being held in a tavern up away, flanked by 42s. You couldn't get near it. Now you have our help. Cole, get those doors open. Weapons and ammo. Take up positions. Someone cover that window. Sir. What is it? Well, we got what we came for, sir. The tank crew, I mean, and I was Spin wondering... Spin it out, Private. I'm on the clock I here. I was wondering why we aren't bugging out here, sir. Because we are taking this town and I why. didn't... I, I thought we don't have the manpower, sir. Give those tankers guns and we do. Look, the Polish are stranded up on Mount Ormel trying to hold onto that hill with both hands. They'll need reinforcements. Reinforcements that'll have to move through this town to get there. You understand? <laughs> What's wrong? Fuse must be defective. Wait here. Sergeant, no way! If the fuse is defective, the chargers are defective, and we're all dead! Jonathan! Jesus. He's okay. Lieutenant! Oh, good. Oh, can you stand up there, Private? Steady there. Oh, we thought we lost you for a moment there, like, uh, we lost a lot. 
I'm putting it in for the Victoria Cross, you know? And you for a promotion, Corporal. All right. <clears throat> Someone get on the radio to command. They can start moving armor through Ceylon Bay. Let's get some reinforcements to the Polish, eh? Now, taking the mace is one thing. Now! Now we have to hold it! That's it! They're running! We did it! We did it! I'm sorry we got here a little late. I want time to gather my men. I thought I saw your squad up at the manor house. The dead ones. Uh, I don't want to see them buried here. I want to take them home. Well, they've certainly earned that, at least. Commander Shakowitz, are you all right? I'll be home soon. They will surrender soon. The Bosch? That's not likely, not while they still have a way out. That being... Shall walk. Get a 30 on that position there. Huxley, find some more sandbags. From Major Holden. The Poles and Canucks have taken Hill 262. Jerry's fallen back. Hard. Towards us? Every last godforsaken one of them. We're gonna need more ammo. Get up or you're dead! Need air support! Now! Popping smoke to mark our location! Stay with me, buddy! And who under the air is missing out that grub army? They're going home in a coffin, Fritz! They're gonna kill us! Their own Easy, bombs! Guys got a point! This no, happens again! I'm done calling an ass support! Stay cool, alright? There's our way out! Bevigo! I'm Guzo. One rule? You're no good to me dead. What kind of pep talk was that? You want inspiration, Private? Read a poem. Canadian and American reinforcements arrive to help seal the Filet's Gap and close off any route of escape for the retreating German soldiers. Four days later, Allied forces liberate Paris, bringing an end to the Battle of Normandy.